this is a vehicle electrician's workshop um, in southern Spain, in Catalonia. Um, and we're here because of this thing, which is the new Garmin Sharp Cycling Team coach. It depends on the race, how much time we spend on the bus, but I suppose if you like, uh, for example, I was just at the Giro d'Italia and we had some fairly brutal transfers there where you could be on the bus two hours before the stage and occasionally three hours plus after the stage. So it means you're spending next to on the bike the majority of your daytime in the bus, in your seat. So it's, it's a very important space for us. Part of the reason we're here is to help with the installation of new equipment onto this, onto this coach so that it'll be a nice facility for the cyclists. My particular expertise is in solar panels, renewable energy, and um, I've been asked to help install some panels uh, on the roof of the bus, design the system, and the local vehicle electricians are going to install them um, later this week. We've provided solar panels and a solar charging system that will uh, allow the bus to, to run on solar power when it's parked up. Um, and then inside there's equipment um, that's been provided by Sharp. So there's a big TV, uh, there's a refrigerator, there's various other bits and pieces that have been provided in order to uh, provide some comfort for the riders and to provide um, um, a view of the race to uh, supporters who come and stand around the coaches and come and look at what the teams are up to. So we've got a big TV for people to look at. We don't really have any input regards how the bus is done. It's more the bus, uh, the bus driver, if you like. It's, he's not just a driver. He is kind of the captain of the ship, if you like. And, and he's seen from his experience of living with all the different riders. We have to find a way of, because the bus isn't just for eight riders. It's for the 28 riders of the team who are going to be rotating using it. So there's nothing. We try to remove the, the personal element. It has to be fairly generic once you're in there, each rider very de democratic, you know, there's not one rider with a bigger seat than others. We try to keep it all, everybody's on the same level when you get on the bus, be it a, a neo-pro or a domestic or a team leader or, a, uh, you know, so, and as for riders, we, we try to keep it that we all have the same needs and, and that makes it easier for the team. This has been billed as, you know, sh uh, as Garmin Sharp Team's new high-tech bus. Uh, and it is a little bit of a shock for people to see that you, know, you build something quite high tech, quite sophisticated in a workshop uh, like this, uh, which is slightly grubby um, and well used, well looked after. Um, and this is the sort of unglamorous side of engineering. This is, um, you know, um, quite sophisticated high tech things get built in relatively unsophisticated workshops. So the solar system we've installed is about 1500 watts. That's the nominal capacity. Um, obviously under real conditions, the bus isn't going to be optimally orientated to the sun. So we expect we might get between 800 and 1000 watts out of it. And that's, um, that's, in, that's enough to run um, five televisions um, or to run a, a small coffee maker. Um, instantaneously, but the thing to remember is that that solar power is charging the batteries, so when there's not a load on it, the solar power is being stored and it can be used later. And the power system is capable of providing 8 kilowatts instantaneously from the batteries for as long as the batteries have charge. So we can store up charge during the day when the coach is sitting about, and when there's a, when there's a whole burst of activity, when the, at the end of a stage for instance, we can draw on that power we've stored earlier in the day. Each team, I think, has different methods, methods regards its recovery post-race. We have our rice cooker, we have we tend to always do rice after the stage and we've got our recovery drinks in the fridge. We have a recovery one, recovery two. You can then use it as a mini kitchen in the, in the bus where you can decide if you want more food. Uh, so, I mean, really it is, they're, they're the kind of routine that you go into. You have your, your recovery one, you have your something to eat, you have your recovery two a couple of hours later and you'll either be having that on the bus or at the hotel when you get there. But it's all there. I mean, it is very, we are, we do have a, our own mobile kind of service station, if you like. So everything's very much work in progress at the moment. When you look inside, it doesn't look much. It all looks a bit basic, a little bit grotty. Everything's covered in dust, um, but it won't be long. It'll be ready in time for the Tour de France and everything will be cleaned up, fitted, installed and working, uh, ready for the riders to use after the races. Mm -hmm.